the streaming and show how Prophetess Deborah makes macaroni and cheese. Isn't that great, honey? Or you can bring in your favorite chef or whoever you want to bring in, your chef of choice, because of course you have many. And you and your chef will go in there and you'll sit there and say, we're going to make this today. And you might just ask some questions. How do you make this? How do you get this taste like this? And so we're going to be doing this on the streaming. And then we're going to do a book, going to be the prophetess cookbook with all the prophetesses. We'll come together and submit a dish. Can you feel that, Prophetess Deborah? Yes, Master Prophet, most definitely. I think it's going to be very awesome. Amen. So we're going we're gonna to light up the studio. And, and you know what? This might sound so good. I might have a daily live show going every day. This way I know I have a fresh meal with the streaming off. And, and see, because Mother Jordan can cook too. Oh, yes, she can. We're just still feasting um, as to what she prepared for us on yesterday. Yeah, you broke your fast. You weren't supposed to eat yesterday. No, I was not supposed to eat, but when Mother is in the kitchen, nothing else matters but what Mother is putting on the table. So we could do a whole segment where Prophetess Mary Jordan called The Dishes I Raised the Prophet Up On. Yes. yes. <laughs> And that's where she'll break out those oxtails and rice and cabbage. I love it. Spare ribs. Jesus! People was eating before the food was really ready. Manasseh ran downstairs. I think he had like two plates. Um, it, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. But it was awesome. So maybe we could just call the show Mothers in the Kitchen. Okay, let's read some more <laughs> thoughts here. Go ahead. Aretha says, I was encouraged and uplift with the wisdom of self-controlling my own destination. With the power given me, I am deliberate in my thought process to thereby have what I ask because I see it and not allow emotions to take it but focus to bring it into existence. Powerful lesson. Thank you. Okay. Prophet Sandy Brown says, gathering together means having the mind of Christ and his consciousness, not just saying in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Sister Yusura Reed says, prayer is scientific. Prophet Sharon Williams says, thank you, Grand Master Prophet, for this lightning, enlightening lesson. This is so powerful and very timely. Who else but you can put into words that can be comprehended into a science and a principle? that can be understood and applied. This principle must be mastered, takes practice. The, this lesson is a blessing. It is going to give me another reference to point, point check to make sure everything is in alignment, in order, and in harmony, which will be the result of answered prayer. Bless you. Amen. Sonia Thompson says, prayer is the unity of faith and belief, knowing what you want and reach for it boldly. Thoughts and feelings fueled by desire will light the flames of my manifestation powerfully, immediately. Brother Jason Clark says, I have the making power of thoughts. Mm -hmm. And Prophetess Benita Croston says, the body and the feelings are one. Put on, put on the feelings and the body will come as it was said in the book, The Law of Thinking. I learned that my thoughts must be in harmony in order for my prayers to be answered. Good. Um, Prophetess Maddie Young says, alignment is putting my feelings and thoughts together. Daryl Vincent Fuller says, Master Prophet, the teaching tonight was clear and precise that in order for one to have an effective prayer, one must align their thoughts, their feelings, and their desires together as one. And it is a must to know exactly what you want when you pray. Then you must think it, feel it, and you, might, and you will get it. Daryl Fuller, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Prophetess Bobby Jean Clow says, Master Prophet, this was a powerful teaching in which I am a product of prayer. I learned that I am one with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I realized that prayer is scientific. I realized that I do not have to want for anything when I am in one accord with his word and with him. 
I agree with my thoughts, feelings, and desires that come from the Lord. This is true alignment. Therefore, manifestation will come as a result. I am learning the law of one with the Father. This will always bring results. Prophetess Bobby Jean Clow. Sister Jocelyn Chin says, prayer is answered from thought and desire, bringing everything together, being one. Prophetess Michelle Austin said, I am manifested prayer. Every thought I thought is a prayer. Yolanda Jones says, I learned that I must be careful about who I touch and agree with, as well as who will touch and agree with me. What I feel is necessary, someone else may not, what I feel is necessary, someone else may not feel the same way. But they will touch and agree with me anyway. I learned that thought, feeling, and desire has to be in alignment. Thank you all. Thank you for all you do. I don't take it lightly. Sister Cherie Davis says, young people should not jump into relationships early. All right. And um, we can see our time is just about up. Carolyn Jackson says, feelings get the blessing or the curse all the time. I figured out that I had not because had not aligned these three ingredients of thought, desire, and corresponding feelings. When I lived in desire, I just realized that I had the thought, I had the desire, but I had a feeling of unbelief and doubt. Listen, we've got to go. Thank you all. This is powerful, and we'll see you next time.